How to create a new group on Skype for Mac? Group chats are quite useful as they permit sending a message to multiple person and help you not to lose much time. For you to add a group chat on Skype for Mac, click on the arrow from the new chat button. On this menu, select new group chat. You can also create a new moderated group depending on your needs. Moderated groups are perfect for when you need more control over the group. For example, a classroom or online presentation. You can use functions within moderated group to modify user roles, ban user from a chat, and more. We will create a simple group chat for this tutorial, so click on the new group chat. Write a name for the group chat. You can also select a picture if you wish. Click on the arrow from the bottom. Now select the person who you wish to invite to the group. You can choose as many as you like. Please note that if you want to video call the persons from the group, Skype supports only a maximum of 50 persons on a video call. After you selected the person who you wish, click on Done. Now you have created the group. If you forgot to add somebody to the group, click on the number of participants from the group page. Here you will have the possibility to add more people. If you click on Show More, you will see the rest of the participants. Also, on the bottom of this window, you will be able to activate or deactivate notifications, chat history, and also allow the group to be shared via link. Also, here you will be able to leave the group as well. Now, if you go on the top of the page, you will be able to change the group's image and name. Also, you will be able to share the link to join the group if you click on this button. Activate the share group via link. You will get a link that you can send to somebody to join the group. I would suggest not to activate this option if this is a private group. You have now created your group on Skype for Mac. If this was useful, please like, share and subscribe. Also, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments area below.